Hey Saber fans, welcome back. This is Adam from Blue Force Sabers. So I have another Ultra Sabers rebuild I did here. So this one was inspired by Canon Jarrus. Um, I think it came out pretty awesome. So uh, the customer wanted something that was uh, mimicking of his hilt and with the Manicore um, Saber. And so we did a color uh, scheme that, that came out um, pretty cool, I think, towards it using the design of this hilt. Um, this inside has a full RGB LED um, chassis as I do in all my Ultra Saber hilts, recharge port, 18650 battery, um, and then also has the Verso board in there so you get the cool sound sound font um, with the smooth swing and a 28 millimeter bass speaker. Also upgraded the switch here so you have this nice black 16 millimeter switch. And then of course the paint job is really what makes this with the weathering. Um, so let's go over that. So I wanted to mix um, a couple of things into this. Uh, I wanted to keep the top and the emitter area here, this, this cool chrome look. So it didn't do a whole lot to that. Um, toned it down a little bit so it wasn't as shiny um, with a, a coat on top of it. But then I wanted this cool fade down into the weathered. Um, he didn't want it too weathered uh, as far as damage and stuff like that from a couple of the other sabers I've done in the past. So there's just a slight weathering with uh, the black. And I think it really came out cool. So you can see it kind of get into all these grooves here and stuff like that. So you have a cool transition from this black to this weathered. And then it's all in here in the grooves as well. And you get this weathering around the windows here. Then we have a retention screw for the LED, so it's locked in place. And I did a little bit of dremeling work um, to give just more effect to it. A little, a little damage. Give that storyline that I like to do with the sabers. So this is a forest green mixed underneath. Try to match that character look, and then with the, the black coating over top, I think it came out really cool. Even painted the switch uh, bezel here, or whatever you want to call it, to match as well. And then down to the wrap area here in the grip. So this is a wrap that I did similar to my personal Manicore. I really like the way it came out on my personal one, so I wanted to incorporate it with this. I think it fits perfectly. Um, I love the way this comes out now because it keeps it super thin. Um, has a great texture to it and then also allows you to customize the color to kind of match the hilt as well. So what I did is I did a darker green over top of it and then weathered it up. You have a little bit of the tan that kind of shows through. Uh, I think it really gives a nice natural weather look to it and then it's super snug on there so and it's the, the way it's uh, it's wrapped, it's nice and tight. So you get no movement or anything. Did some weathering in the grooves. That matches with the hilt here too. Have the retention screw for the chassis. So to get access to the chassis, you just kind of, you just unloosen this a little bit. Chassis slides out and they have access to the SD card and everything and recharge port. Now this is a custom saber shop pommel. Um, I really like these compared to the Ultra Sabers. If you've seen in my last video, uh, Ultra Sabers make their, their pommels pretty thick, so you can't slide the chassis and the speaker into it. Uh, but with a custom saber shop, uh, you can because um, they cut it thinner on the inside. So it really makes it for a better sounding saber then. But I love the way the weathering came out on this one. Goes all the way down to the sound port. So I think it came out pretty awesome. Definitely makes it unique. Now it has a story to tell. So we'll fire it up here real fast. I am Kanan Jarrus, Jedi Knight. <laughs> So there's going to be a future update coming out for the Verso board. That's going to add accent swings to it, blaster and lockup. So 
so you'll get a nice richer sound with the sound font so it has the smooth swing and you have your clash and then of course your color change with the double press back to the green so you get the smooth swing and everything so with this future update too you'll have the accent swings that will go on it as well and then you'll get so the accent swings um, as they have on some of the other boards like the crystal focus uh, you get a little bit punchier sound when you swing it around that's what the accent swings do so it mixes well with the smooth swing so it's coming out in a future update so uh, the Versa boards are pretty easy to update, um, so I don't think the customer have any problem doing that. But if he does, uh, we're always here to help out and get your sabers uh, right where you like to, to have them and up and running. But um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, saber reveal. I love the design of the Manticore. I think this paint design came out wonderful. Um, and uh, as always, hope you enjoy Take care and God bless.